We start our journey into signal and image processing by discussing the role of PIOs. This will enable us to tie the SPOSNET model to actual applications. Just before we start, we have to say a few words about the notations we are about to use. The coming explanations are meant for those of you who took the first course. Recall that whenever we considered linear systems of equations, these were commonly denoted by a times x equals b. The reason for this notation are the conventions taken from linear algebra. Well, now that we are about to leave the mathematical arena and move into signal and image processing, we modify our language and refer to such systems as d times alpha equals x. In these new notations, x stands for a signal to be processed, and alpha, the sparse vector, is its representation. The matrix D serves as our dictionary, which ties the two together. I hope that this change in our notations will not confuse you as we dive into this course.